welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Harasakai Tower. And we've had some comments and questions recently of what is the Yomatsu Harasakai Tower? Well, for those of you that don't know Japanese mythology, the Yomatsu Harasakai is the path to the underworld. So by broadcasting from this tower, we are taking you on a journey into another world. And that world is die-cast racing. And tonight is round three of the Modified Mayhem Diecast Racing Tournament. We've had two rounds so far. If you've missed those rounds, be sure to come on back and click on the link above in the top right corner, and you can check out the full playlist of all the rounds thus far. But right now, we're all ready for round three, so let's get on with it, shall we? All right, first up, we've got Lucas from Castaña Racing in Spain. He's driving the number 80 McLaren Senna, which is actually one of the test cars here at the rim. He'll be joined by Poboy from Poboy Racing in that number five Kia Stinger GT, another test car for the track. And we've got Big H from Independent Racers joining in in that number three Shelby Cobra that was sent out to Low Country Diecast Racing League. And last but not least, Vanessa Runensmuth from Germany in from Spirit of 64 Racing in that Ford Transit that raced out at Live Young Diecast. All right, here we go. You got Lucas and Po'Boy on the front row, Big H and Vanessa on the back row. Kicking off round three. Here they are, and they are side by side as they head around the sewer vent. Po'Boy gets the whole shot, followed by Big H, Po'Boy, and Big H. Oh, Po'Boy rolls it in Kaiju's lair. And wow, Po'Boy rolls it. Big H takes the win but I am not sure who took second. Let's look at the replay here. Man, Vanessa having a hard time getting out of the start gate, falling behind, but all four cars able to clear the Kaiju blue door jump, and then Poboy rolls it right there in the middle of Kaiju's lair, but he had enough momentum, he kept going. Look at Big H goes all around, and then, man, hey man it's hard to tell. Did Poboy actually break the beam before Lucas did. We're going to have to freeze frame it. We're going to have to look. Oh, man, Vanessa, she got to get her taps in on Poe Boy as well. Let's look at the replay, see if we can freeze frame it here. Oh, man, that is so close. I kind of see a beam on Poe Boy, kind of not. We'll have to wait and see what the judges think and who they're going to award second place to as they go up for lap two. Let's see it. And they give Poboy second place. They're saying that the beam did reflect off the car before it even touched Lucas's bumper. All right, lap two. Vanessa in the pole position. Look at, oh, Vanessa rolls it. Crashes and kick boom. There goes Big H. Big H. Oh, here come the other two cars challenging. Oh, Lucas. Lucas pushes Big H off the road. And Poboy ends up crashing as well. A triple DN. F. Look at the replay. Vanessa's just too top heavy. Rolls it from inside to outside lane, heading around the sewer vent turn, and just completely blocks Lucas and Poboy. But I guess that doesn't stop those two. They keep going, and Vanessa comes to a stop right there past gate three. And Big H gets a little squirrely going over the jump, able to straighten out. But here comes Lucas and Poboy. And look at that. Lucas just shoves Big H out of the way. And Poboy ends up rolling it right there next to him. Wow. What a spectacular finish by Lucas. Now Big H moves up to the front left. Vanessa to the front right. Man, she, look at that triple DNF. They got to get some points here on the board. Here they go, lap three. And Big H getting the whole shot. Oh, Poe Boy crashes in Kickapoo. Big H makes it over the jump. Here comes Vanessa challenging for first place. And Big H with a last minute block. 
to maintain first place as they cross across the finish line. Wow. Look at the replay. Big H is flying, hits the whole shot. Po'boy just overcorrects and understeers, ends up hitting the safety barrier in Kickapoo and rolls over. Man, that's two DNFs for Po'boy. And look at the other three drivers taking the jump as a champ. And Vanessa trying to get around Big H. Big H feels her on the back door and with a beautiful block, blocks out Vanessa to maintain first place. Vanessa in second and Lucas in third. Oh, looks like Lucas and Big H pulling away. But you never know here. Vanessa needs a key DNF by one of those two drivers if she wants a shot to move on. Here they go. Pull boy win the whole shot. He fights off Big H. Big H almost rolls it on the backside. Oh boy, racing to the finish to steal first. And wow, looks like another triple DNF. But look at that time, 6.12. It's probably fast enough to get on the leaderboard. Look at the replay. Poe boy forces his way in front of Big H. Big H almost losing it at the sign of death. Pull boy makes the jump and oh man, look at that. Big H gets rolled by Vanessa and Lucas. Wow, look at that tumble. Lucas gets around but unable to keep that McLaren firing to continue and the triple DNF right there in Kaiju's lair. Let's see how the final point standings measure up. And Lucas and Big H still advance even with that final lap DNF. Congratulations to Lucas and Big H. Here are the stats for that McLaren and that Shelby. Look at that. The Shelby winning two laps, Lucas only winning one, but it was just enough. And we're gonna get on to group six, group six, the next group right after this quick short break. Hey everybody, if you want to support our channel, head on over to our merch store where you can get our commemorative Modified Mayhem t-shirt or pint glass. We are grateful for all your support. All right, we are back with Group 6 and kicking off with Papa Pugsley from Manchild Motorsports in that number one Honda S2000. This ran in the race of the rising sun here at the rim. He'll be joined by Steven Huracan from 12 Diecast Racing. He's driving the number five Honda Civic Type R, which was also in that JDM race. And they'll be joined by Dante from Antetti's Diecast Racing in the number eight McLaren, which was sent out to Formula Diecast here in Colorado. And last but certainly not least, Doug Gnarly from Live Young Diecast in that number three Dodge van which also raced at Live Young Diecast. All right, we're going to kick off group six with Papa Pugsley and Steven Huracan on the front row, Dante and Doug Gnarly on the back row. Here they go, lap one. Papa Pugsley out in front, hits the whole shot, followed by Doug Gnarly. Doug Gnarly hits the safety fence. Oh, Papa Pugsley crashes at the jump, leaving Doug Gnarly to steal the win and Steven Hurkan comes in second place. We're gonna have to check out the replay, see what happened. That S2000 was humming, gets the whole shot, and oh, Doug almost bit it there in Kickapoo Pass. Here they come over the jump, and wow! Papa Pugsley just hits that jump crooked, ends up going off track and launching himself. Man, that is scary and unfortunate that Papa Pugsley kicks off group six with a DNF. And then here they come around the sewer vent. Doug and Steven get around, but then Dante, man, these McLarens love to stop in Kaiju's lair. Not sure what's going on with that, but if Dante wants to advance, he's gonna have to get some points on the board. Doug moves up to the front left, Papa Pugsley on the front right for lap two, group six. And they are off. Doug Gnarly on the inside, hits the whole shot. Oh, he crashes, and Kickapoo gets thrown off the track. Here comes Dante, Papa, and Steven. Oh, 
bumper to bumper, one behind the other to cross the finish line. Man, I thought Doug Gnarly was going to take the win, but Kickapoo Pass had other plans. Look at him carry the whole shot, and he just understeers, hits the safety fence, rolls over, and Dante, just that low front end of that McLaren, just throws Doug off track right there next to the Live Young die cast side. Wow, that's a coinky dink right there. Live Young die cast van in front of the Live Young die cast side. All right, they're back up to the top for lap three. Pretty close in the points right here. Anybody can take it. Only halfway through this group is Dante on the front left, Doug on the front right. And here they go, side by side, heading around the sewer vent. Dante gets the whole shot. Steven Huracan right on. Steven challenging over the jump. Steven trying to pass. Dante blocking. Steven spins around for a 180. And where? what happened to Doug? Doug was literally right on Steven Huracan's rear bumper. Look at the replay here on the backside. Here they come down and man steven is trying to pass but then papa pugsley spins around and ends up just stopping in the helipad turn for a dnf and look at this over the jump all three cars make it over dante trying to block and not able to see what's going on right there in that camera angle let's see if we can see what happens right here you see you see steven spin around it looks like he got bumped but Papa Pugsley, there he is, comes to a stop just after he passes gate six. Man, that's another DNF for Doug Gnarly. Not, wow, these were like the same points going into lap four in group five. Man, anything can happen. Doug still has a chance if the two leaders end up DNFing. Here we go, Steven Huracan out in front, hits the whole shot. There is Papa right on his bumper. They are drafting. Papa Pugsley trying to get around, but unable to do so. Steven Huracan takes the win, followed by Papa Pugsley in second place. 6.5 lap time. That is respectable. Look at the replay. Steven Huracan hits the whole shot, drafting right behind him. Papa Pugsley just trying to find an opportunity to get around him. All four cars make it over to jump, including Doug Gnarly. And that's how they will finish this race. Where are they at? There's Dante. Dante finally coming across in third. Doug Gnarly in fourth. Let's see the final point standings. Yes, Steven Huracan and Dante moving on to the quarter final round. Man, congrats to Steven and Dante. Here are the stats. For those two cars, it's the Honda and the McLaren. McLaren coming through, winning two laps, and Steven Huracan with a 6.5. Worst finish was third place. And I do believe we have some movement on the leaderboard for the fastest lap here at the rim. Let's see it. And Poboy makes it to the second fastest time. Unfortunately, he did not advance with enough points but he did run a 6.1298. Very good time here at the rim. And here are your winners moving on. You got Lucas, Big H, Steven Huracan, and Dante. Wow, yellow and white are the fastest colors here at the rim. You've seen it before. Yellow is the color to beat. And if you are looking for mail-in races to enter, head on over to Redline derby.com but real quick we are going to take a quick short break before we get to final thoughts so don't go anywhere all right everybody we are super excited that you are here watching us but if it is your first time to watch monster motorsports be sure to check out the rest of our channel playlist membership and behind the scenes oh man what an exciting round three between groups five and six. Again, congratulations to Lucas, Big H. Man, I almost had a brain fart. Lucas, Big H, Steven Huracan, and Dante. Both McLarens, surprisingly enough, made it into the quarterfinals. And 
their weight difference are com and their builds were completely different. Lucas's car is metal chassis, metal body, while Dante's is only metal body, plastic chassis. So it's very interesting how both cars made it onto the quarter final round. And next week, you do not want to miss round four with group seven and eight will fight for the final four spots of the quarterfinals. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss any future content from our channel also next week at the end of group eight we have a special announcement so be sure to stick around after the end credits next week so you don't miss out because if you do you are not gonna be happy all right everybody my name is rubber toe it has been my pleasure tonight to host this race and i wish everyone to be safe and keep your wheels on the road.